Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is rolling out the update KB5017461 again, which Microsoft does roll out on a regular basis, which they say improves specific areas of Windows 11. Now, if we head to our Windows Update page and we click on Update History, when this update gets installed, you can find it under Other Updates. And here we go. It's called Online Service Experience Pack Windows.Settings.Account. And the latest version is 4.0.783.0. And as mentioned, these updates do roll out regularly. And I last received this update back in September, on the 19th of September. And today it's rolled out in my region once again on the 6th of December. Now just a couple of um, facts about this update. It's only for Windows 11 and not for Windows 10. The update gets downloaded and installed automatically in the background, which might make a couple of users unhappy. It's a small update and it doesn't require a restart and it cannot be uninstalled. And Microsoft has this to say officially about the update and what it brings to the table, in case you're unaware. They say online service experience packs in Windows 11 improve the delivery of changes and improvements from the cloud, which is another way that Microsoft says it can quickly update Windows 11. So basically, this is going to bring server-side updates to specific areas of Windows 11, as in this example, the accounts page in settings. And... That might make, as I've mentioned, a couple of users unhappy knowing that this is all just going to take place in the background. Now, Microsoft also says that these online service experience packs work in a similar manner as the Windows feature experience packs do, enabling Microsoft to quickly make updates to specific areas outside of a major Windows update. So that's the reason why this update rolls out. The difference between the two is that the Windows Feature Experience Packs can deliver broad improvements across multiple areas of Windows, whereas the Online Service Experience Packs are focused on delivering improvements for a specific area, such as the your Microsoft Accounts Settings page. So, as an example, this particular update will eventually bring server-side improvements or changes to the accounts page. So Microsoft says that currently it's testing this, this mechanism with the, with the actual account settings page uh, in the settings app. And they've been doing that since these updates have been rolling out. I haven't seen any of these um, online service experience packs rolling out for other areas. But basically what they mean is that in the future, more areas, they say, will be updated through online service experience packs. These additional, these additional areas, they say, will also appear under Windows Update as these service experience packs with their own area name and version information. So we could get one for system. We could get one for apps. You get the idea. So just bringing this to your attention in case you're unaware. Um, let me know in the comments if you are seeing this update in your region. I want to know if this is a global rollout. Or if this is just region specific, I'd be interested to know. But there we go. That's KB5017461, which Microsoft says improves specific areas of Windows 11. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.